Hey everybody, I want to show y'all something here that um, I have a, uh, a weed problem and I am deciding to use something a little or weed control that is going to be modified later with a handle so I can stand up and use it. But we're first going to try it out and see how well it does on weeds. My weed eaters, both gas and electric, have proven just worthless on these um, really heavy, thick weeds that we've had this year. And every few years we get this. And I know you know what I'm talking about, where you get these heavy stem grade weeds or sawgrass or something, and you need something to cut it. So this is a Hyper Tough. Now, Hyper Tough is a product from Walmart or sold through Walmarts and Sam's and places like that. So, um, it's affordable it's 60 bucks i'll put the link down below to it. it goes directly to the where you can get them at this one here comes with everything 60 bucks i mean the black and decker is 87 dollars and the funny part is is it's basically the same thing um very close now the 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 better part is is that the black and decker battery is 30 dollars and these are 16 at walmart so and they are two amp hour not 1.5 that's kind of cool we learned something really nice that the hyper tough drill that you can buy as part of these um, oddly enough uses the same identical transformers as the black and decker every part number and everything identical so that's black and decker and this is the hyper tough kind of cool that's that's the uh, charger for it uh, the drill is currently being used on something but the, the drill's proven to be very durable and, and actually has a very, it has a higher speed. It runs faster than these for drilling, which is kind of, kind of nice. This is going to be tested and used on some heavy coarse weeds. And we're going to walk out there here in a second. So let me open this up and show you what you get with it. And it's kind of neat the way these are because they're a different type of cutting edge than the one we have over here. So now I have a Black & Decker here. This is a a uh, AC powered and I use this on my inverter all the time out of my truck and this is the reason that I'm doing this look at these blades here after two years they've just they cannot stay uh, or keep from being rusted up like they're and it's stored inside and this is a black and decker um, what I did learn is that the hyper tough uses a higher nickel I went in there and there was a, uh, a review, engineer's review on it, and they use the higher nickel in it. And they also use that same higher nickel in their drill chuck assemblies. So uh, maybe it's a cheaper Walmart product with a few upgrades versus this that's really going downhill. Uh, Black & Decker's kind of going downhill for a lot of their tools. Let's go ahead and get this open. I'm going to show you what's in it. 20 volt. It's going to be a good test. All right, now out of the box, one thing that I like that this one didn't have is that not only does this one have a protective cardboard insert blocking inside of here because bending these, because they're, look at the odd shaped box. Bending these is very common in shipping. Not only did it have this in there and that, <laughs> it has a full protection plastic protector on it. it keeps your kids from cutting their hands that's kind of nice now I can tell right now this the biggest difference that I'm looking at is the taper angle of the blade is much nicer than you can hardly tell here the taper angle of the blade here this one here has got too much of an angle which means that they'll pinch and dull faster and this one here has got a little better of a slope. So it feeds onto the cutting edges a lot better. I do like that. That's a good start. The Hyper Tough is very freaking light. This thing just cannot be four pounds. I mean, maybe four and a half with a battery on it. Unbelievably light. So we're going to take, now I slap the battery on the charger and it's charging. We're gonna go ahead and grab it off there and take it and put it on this is this is just kind of neat kind of neat so a cool setup for what it is so it does have the safety button to get everything out of the way here 
It has the safety button, so your four-year-old's not going to cut himself up or cut your <laughs> or cut your curtains out of your house. Um, we're going to pull that back, and then we're going to take a look here. It's very quiet. That is very quiet. Real torquey, though. You feel the torque in that. That's very, very nice, actually. And the size of that motor. I don't know if y'all can see that girth of that motor. It's, hell, that motor in there is like that wide. So that's pretty good. Looks like it's got the standard build everywhere else. And this is nice. Look at that. That stainless plate all the way down to the track. Instead of it just having, you see a lot of them, they just have the screws only. That's nice. I like that. That is quite nice. And it has the uh, the full rail instead of the, just the, uh, the, like the C right there. That's nice. Pretty good build. Good hanging hook for it. This one doesn't come with a hook to hang it with. So this one here, you can literally hang it on the wall like so and leave it hanging out of the way. Um, never did like the way this one's designed because it didn't have any protector and in, and your, yours might have one this never had it this came like this brand new in the box now yeah it's two years old um, they might be new now but we're gonna give this a shot I didn't even charge the battery up but we're gonna give it a shot let's get out there all right now the biggest question is is that I have a whole lot of these kind of heavier weeds I run my weed eater through it and it just eats the hell out of string doesn't want to cut nothing so I'm going to look into here and see what would this thing do on these weeds versus a weed eater. Because you see where I shot that weed eater up in there? It just knocked the weeds down. And that's with that famous whatever branded cutting string on it. It didn't do it. So let's see what we got here. Even grass. Pretty damn fast, too. Pretty fast, pretty quiet. Look at that. Now that I like. For 60 bucks? Hell yeah, I'll buy that. Look at this big patch of these, whatever the hell they are. I don't even know the name of these weeds. They're just freaking everywhere. Even the lawnmower don't like them. Hey, I got a busy night. So you got weeds in around trees, in around things you don't want to run the lawnmower next to. This silly sawgrass. Afraid you might hit something with the lawnmower. Well, you can get in there and go look at it, can't you? Look at that stuff. I might gotta buy me two of them. All right, guys. Weed whacker on steroids. That'll be good. <laughs>